Hey, Walt here from StogieReview.com, and today we're taking a look at the Casa Fernandez Anniversario 2014. These are cigars that are released, as you would expect from the Anniversario name, once a year, and they're released in one size only. This is the Ares, which is a six and a quarter by 52. They uh, they produce 1,500 boxes per year, and in this case. We've got uh, a cigar that's made entirely of Aganorsa tobacco, rolled in Miami. So, as you would imagine, uh, Miami cigars cost a little bit more, but there's uh, just something about them, you know, being made here in Miami, or you know, here in the states, rolled in Miami, that uh, gives it kind of a special quality, and you know, makes the makes the the premium a little more uh, palatable. So, in this case, we've got a. Uh, a beautiful looking cigar. It's got a white band with uh, silver accents, two bands, and there's a wax paper foot that goes from the secondary band and kind of covers the entire remainder of the cigar, which uh, more or less looks the same. I kind of crumpled mine up, but uh, it's white with uh, silver accents. Really appealing uh, presentation. Looks wonderful. The The color of the wrapper is beautiful. It's kind of like over-creamed coffee. It's got that uh, you know, that nice rich brown tone to it, small veins. Uh, the wrapper appears to be a little thin in spots. I've had a couple of issues where pulling the band off will, will sort of rip the wrapper a little bit, but uh, it just seems to be a cosmetic issue. I haven't run into any problems with uh, smokeability, and actually, this one's, <laughs> this one's got a problem that's entirely my fault. I was coming out of the house and I had the cigar sitting on the, on the kitchen counter along with my cutter and my lighter and I accidentally knocked the cigar off the counter. It landed head first on the floor and uh, created a little bit of a crack from the band up. But even so, I mean, with a cracked wrapper, it's still smoking really well. I've got one more left. I didn't want to, when I saw the crack, I didn't want to set this one aside and smoke the last one just in case. So I figured, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll run this one through the gambit. I don't expect it to, to be problematic with that little crack, but, uh, kind of a testament to the, the construction of these cigars. You know, they can take a little bit of a beating and they still perform really well. So, uh, appearance is wonderful. The cigars just, they look beautiful. I, I love the presentation. Um, again, 1,500 cigars released per year. Uh, Casa Fernandez released three cigars, I'm told, this year for IPCPR. Since I wasn't there, I wasn't able to see the booth, but uh, they shipped me the first one that is being shipped to retailers. The other two will come uh, in, the, in the very near future, so keep an eye out for those. So give me a few seconds to, to kind of get situated here. We'll come back, we'll take a look at the, the first portion of the cigar, and we'll get this review underway. Well, we're moving right along on our Casa Fernandez Anniversario 2014, and it is smoking beautifully. It is actually uh, one of the best medium-bodied cigars I've had all year just wonderful balance. It's got a really nice fragrance that kind of rolls off the cigar. The resting smoke is really aromatic. Uh, it's not acrid. It just it has a nice, uh, almost like a semi-sweet sort of aroma to it. The The flavor profile is, it's not, it, it doesn't have a, a wide range of flavors, but the flavors that it does have seem to be really complex and refined. So you get a little bit of a woody taste that lingers on the palate. Um, you get a, a nice creamy texture out of the smoke and the, the most dominant flavor that I'm getting is kind of a toasty sort of flavor. This, uh, this buttery, toasty taste that just kind of rounds everything out and, and just does a wonderful job of making this just a stellar morning or early afternoon cigar. So it's, I'm drinking this with coffee. It's pairing really well with it. It's, I don't, I don't, I don't want to gush over it, but I'm really impressed. Um, I don't know what the price point is. I would imagine it's going to be a little steep because these are Miami made and limited edition, but I, I'm, I'm really impressed. It's smoking really well. As I mentioned, I cracked the head, dropping it on the kitchen floor on the way out, but even so, it's still smoking beautifully. Burns really well. Uh, the ash is nice and light in color. The burn line is even. The uh, the ash holds on pretty strong for almost an inch before I, I kind of knock it off the ash, knock it off into the ashtray as a preventative measure. But uh, it's good. You know, smoke volume is fantastic. It's nice and thick, coats the palate. It's easy to get through the sinus. It's not overwhelming on the palate. It's got a nice creamy sensation to it. 
all in all, just a stellar cigar at this point. I'm really happy to be smoking them. Well, we are coming down the home stretch of our Casa Fernandez Anniversario 2014. And, you know, there isn't a whole lot to say outside of what I've already said, you know, in the previous clip. This is a really an outstanding cigar. It smokes really well. It's constructed beautifully. Uh, burns great. Good smoke volume. Uh, good smoke texture. Nice, uh, creamy sort of uh, smoke feel to it. Uh, it's easy on the palate, and it's easy through the sinus. I mean, there's a little bit of spice there, it, it, a little bit of power. It lets you know it's there during the retrohale, but at the same time, it's not really aggressive on the palate. So you can smoke the cigar, and if you so choose, you could pick up another one and, and light it up without issue. You're not going to feel weary after smoking it. Uh, you're not going to feel as though your palate is kind of beaten and battered. So in terms of smokability, just a beautiful cigar. Even with uh, even with the construction issue where I dropped it, it's still smoking without issue. In the flavor department, things have picked up a little bit. It's uh, still medium bodied, maybe just a touch closer to medium to full. Uh, medium to full flavored, uh, really good solid flavors. They coat the palate, they last a good long time before they start to dissipate. So you, you take a puff from the cigar, you let the smoke out, and it it just sort of rolls, the, the flavor just sort of rolls off the palate over a prolonged period of time. So over the course of a minute you'll get, you know, a good solid kind of a hearty toasty flavor that's uh, really up front. And then as that lingers, you know, it sort of dissolves into more of a woody taste. And as that begins to dissolve, you know, you get a little bit of sweetness. And it's just uh, really, it, it has a flavor, flavor profile that seems to evolve. As it as it lingers on the palate, so it's it's got a lot going on. It's uh, what I would consider to be a very uh, dynamic and complex cigar, and just I'm I'm really impressed with it. Good solid cigar. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, medium-bodied cigars that I've had all year long, and I'm really looking forward to trying some of the other Casa Fernandez product just as soon as it arrives. So again. These were uh, freebie samples, uh, Casa Fernandez sent me five, and uh, I'm going to be smoking that last one in really short order. I'd be really tempted to hand it over to my local cigar shop and let the owner smoke it, except for since this is uh, a limited production, only 1,500 boxes, I don't want to I don't want to waste it in a sense that uh, he's, maybe he'll love it and want to place an order but can't because it's uh, limited. So maybe I'll wait till the others come before I start handing them out to the cigar shop and, and pushing him to, uh, to potentially bring in some of the Casa Fernandez lines. So good, solid cigar. I have no idea what they cost. There's probably a premium because it's Miami and because it's limited, but uh, just an outstanding cigar. You should definitely try it if you have the opportunity.